Today, they released police dash cam and body cam video of that recent traffic stop. Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. I'm Jessica Cartalia. Lower Marion police say the officers' actions were legal, but admit they could have done better. Seattle Lewis walks us through the video, which you may find disturbing. Lower Marion Township Police held a press conference Tuesday to reveal the findings of their use of force investigation in the January 8th traffic stop, which resulted in an officer using a taser on an unarmed female driver. As noted, we could have performed better, and we should have. The department showed dash cam footage of the one plus mile pursuit. Roughly two minutes after the pursuit began, the driver of the Volvo, now identified as 36 year old Shane Luis Jordan, pulls into a Wawa parking lot. The primary officer on the scene can be seen holding his handgun in his right hand as he approaches the vehicle. The department says he reholstered his weapon without raising it or pointing it at anyone. You can see from one backup officer's body cam how dark the tinting is on the car's windows as he speaks to a passenger in the Volvo. And a third officer back on the driver's side shows the mounting tension between the primary officer and Jordan. The officer tells Jordan she's under arrest and to get out of the car. Jordan repeats that she wants to wait for the officer's sergeant. The officer warns her that he'll tase her. After twice discharging of his taser, which was not successful in incapacitating Jordan, officers pull her out of the car, onto the ground, and handcuff her. The department says the officer's actions were legal, however. Now there's another question to ask. Did we meet Lower Marion Police standards, and did we follow policy and training? The answer to that is no. We uh, want to make it clear, and to be transparent, is we can sometimes fail. Our officers are human. The officer who fired his taser is on desk duty while the investigative process continues. The driver, Shane Jordan, faces multiple charges, including resisting arrest and following too closely. Siapha Lewis, CBS, Philadelphia.